Hello guys, this is Abdi Kerim from CodesideAcademy.com. Um, I um, will be the instructor for this course, for this Flask course, and uh, this is a web development course. So if you have been enrolled and you are watching this, you are the right place. So before we go deep, I will try and talk about what is web development itself. And I would like to talk about uh, the uh, website I'm working for, the company I'm working for. This is Codeside Academy. On this platform, you can enroll for free courses and get free ebooks library by signing up and doing a lot more. You can even talk to an expert live and they will respond to you if you have any question. So, that's for that. So, go to web development in general so we all know what uh, web and uh, development is but it's a combination of two things web development is a combination of uh, web programming and web design the act of you developing the website or a web app or whatever or of you maintaining it and keeping it live that is the development part of it but if you are having a uh, we are working with HTML and CSS, just the web designing. And um, if you are working with uh, <clears throat> with uh, maybe PHP or Python, Ruby to program the backend, uh, that is the web programming. So combination of two these two things continuously lead to web development. So th that is what I will let everybody clear about. So in this course, we will focus on the web programming part. Of it, but uh, we will still be doing some development in I mean, combination of front end and little front end with it, even though I'm not a front end guy, so for most of us trying to be on back end. So, and we'll be using a Python programming language and a framework called Flask. And uh, Flask is a micro web service framework, you can read more about it and this it on our medium. So Introduction to uh, Flask framework, I'll quickly talk about it and we'll have an uh, overview of what Flask itself is, uh, what Flask it is by itself. So uh, Flask is just a web application framework. It was developed by Hami Runacher, uh, who is a lead of an uh, international group of Python enthusiasts named Poco. The Flask is based on WorkZook, WSGI toolkit, and our Jinja tool template engine. So uh, these two uh, uh, projects, they are Flask, I mean they are Poco project. It was they were developed by this community of developers called Poco. So they are both a uh, Poco project. So combination of these two projects, that is what make up Flask. So Flask is based on WebZook. What does WebZook does in uh, what does it do in Flask? Is the one uh, WebZook is the one handling the request, uh, the uh, HTTP response, and so on and so forth. And uh, when we look at Jinja 2, Jinja 2 handling the templating. Uh, Jinja 2 is one of the pop uh, most popular template engine uh, in Python community. So it handle it handle the uh, rendering of templates, displaying HTML, CSS, and some style, uh, JavaScript pictures on the browser. So they can see these two things come makes a web development. The web, let me say, is the back end of Jinja 2, though Jinja 2 on its own has a has its own uh, back end. So combination of these two things are what make Flask what it is. So since Flask is a framework, I would like us to talk about what a web framework is. A uh, web uh, application framework is simply, is simply a web uh, or a combination, I mean collections of different, different uh, libraries and modules and uh, make it a single framework. That is what we mean by framework. Now, as I said earlier in my former explanation about uh, uh, Jinja2 and uh, WebZook, you can see they are both a combination of two things. So combination of different modules make a framework. So like a request of uh, blinks, workzooks, and so on. So that is what make made up Flask what it is. So in this course that you, you enrolled for, we'll be talking about uh, some of these things. 
and uh, these are the things you will be able to get achieve after the end of this course uh, after the end of this course you will be able to achieve so many things and these are the list of what uh, you will learn on this uh, course all right so these are the list so we are here now the first one i'm talking about we'll be able to do all this these courses will contain will take us 33 classes and at the end of this course we'll be able to build a payment system with flask a large a very very large project with flask and uh, and i hope uh, you all get it and after that we'll be able to deploy it on python anywhere so these are the things we will get on the after the end of this project so if you are finding it difficult i would like to show you how to navigate on the platform where you get this you can just sign up here which i've already did so i will just uh, log in my own interface might be different a bit from yours if you are a student but if you are an instructor we might look the same thing so if you sign up or, or you have enrolled you can see something like this on the platform when you log in so you select the courses you would like to learn so these courses is still empty so there is no data available here so once you have uh, um once we start this class and we continue it there should be more to be populated here so thank you and uh stay tuned for the next class